If you leave him, that's your problem. Yeah. But God is there. And uh, we're running to make it into the first resurrection, to see God face in peace. We're not here for, to make friends. You're not here to please family members. You should be here for the saving of your soul. Stick with the word of God all the way into the end. Thank God, folks. Amen. We thank God for the remark from the minister. At this time, the most important thing that we got that we can hear is the word of God. So we ask you to set in prayer. We introduce it to some and present it to others. At this time, the men of God, Pastor Gino Gini. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with him, no God besides him, no God greater than him. There is no God equal to him. He is and shall forever be God alone. We thank him for being the true sender of holy prophets and of holy apostles. We are indebted to him for his guidance, his mercy. One of the greatest days of our life is when God opened up our understanding that we might understand the scriptures. We thank God for Elder McLennan keeping Jackson, Mississippi in remembrance of the word of the Lord every week. Amen. We thank God for Elder Butler being present, who's also one of our brothers here in Jackson, Mississippi. He'd been ill, and, but we thank God for him being here this evening. I thank God to see him. Glad for Brother Minister Brandon from the Memphis area and Brother Minister Shabazz from Mobile, Alabama. <clears throat> As always, we're glad to see old Williams here. We thank God for all of you. <laughs> we thank God for all of you that are here. Uh, as it has been announced, we have started a new work here in Jackson, Mississippi, and this is our temporary meeting place. Today, me and the brothers was out driving around the city looking for something that we can put the people in permanently. I found a vacant bank and I like the way it look and I called my church real estate agent and uh, I took the name down off the sign and she was able to contact the owner. We was able to go inside <clears throat> and we gave him an offer today. So he said he'd get back in contact with us on Monday and I will see whether he accept our offer. The church that was given to us in Chicago, we had a beautiful, successful meeting in Chicago, baptized quite a bit there. It'd been what, two weeks ago now? About two weeks ago, and didn't have no standing room. Had about seven to eight to 10 different elders and bishops from different churches all with different testimonies that left their churches. Some quit pastoring, stepped out the pulpit. Uh, some came from Indiana, other parts of Illinois, some from Kentucky, some from Ohio. The word is pulling the people. I mean, it's pulling the people. So uh, even though we are grateful for the church that was given to us, it just can't hold the people. Uh, so we were blessed uh, that Sunday evening, me and the brothers was to go look at a Methodist campus that went up for sale, was church and a school, but you know, a rainstorm came through Chicago and didn't do us no good. So we came on back to Philadelphia the next day. And, but my church real estate agent flew into Chicago for us to look at the property. She was in Chicago yesterday and got back today and contacted me. She said, Pastor, the place is just what you would want. I got pictures of everything that you would want me to get pictures on in. And, and uh, they had one price. I gave them an offer price and present that to Chicago. So I wait to hear from them next week. Also, we gave an offer price and on 
a building for the church in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, they counter offer me, so I accept they counter offer. So hopefully uh, we got three offers in. One agreed to and two we waiting on. So this is what is taking place not just here in America but abroad. As Brother Minister Shabazz said, we're not traveling to just say how you're doing. Hmm. I know how I'm doing down here in Jackson, Mississippi. It's hot, brother. <laughs> Amen. So you know that I have no plans on going to hell. Do you? Talk back to me, Mississippi. Glory be to God. So we are thankful when we, the day that we came down here in April to establish the new work here, in two days, we baptized 112 souls in two days. When I came here of April of this year, 112 souls repent of their sins and went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Think of it in two days. Some men been pastoring in Mississippi 20, 30, and 40, and 50 years and haven't baptized 10 people in 30 years. When I first came to Jackson, Mississippi, it was December of 2019. We baptized 92 souls in two days when I first came here. So as you can see, brothers and sisters, we mean business. We mean business. I'm <clears throat> telling the people all over the world, leave your churches. If you don't want to go to hell, leave your churches. These churches were started by men. These religions were started by men to keep you in bondage. Keep you serving the devil, but trick you and make you think you're serving God. The Bible says this, they profess that they know God, but in works, they deny him. Think of it. They profess that they know God, which means this. They claim to be Christians. They claim what their teaching will point you to Christ, lead you to Christ, lead you to Christ, connect you to Christ. But when it comes time to teach you really what to do, they get on God's side, right then in works, they deny him. That's right. Meaning they deny the reality of Christ. That's right. So <clears throat> I'm not traveling around the world for fun. The borders of the various countries around the world is getting ready to open back up. And we'll be back overseas. We had a bishop came to want to walk with the truth of God who was under T.D. Jakes. And uh, he started a ministry and, and uh, he met me about last week. Last week was in Columbia, South Carolina, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Time go by so fast, we was jam packed there in Columbia and many were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ in the Columbia, South Carolina area. And me and the bishop got, began to talk, and even the bishop got baptized. He said, I don't want to wait till you ask who want to be baptized. He said, I want to be baptized before you get in the pulpit. Wonderful. So I, uh, we stopped having our discussion. I called the minister into the office, Minister Jones. I said, you baptize him right now, he's ready. He went and got baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, Pastor Jennings, I sent a memo to our entire church organization. He said, I confess to all of them that we all was baptized wrong. And he said, I repent for teaching you wrong. That's wonderful, isn't it? We have a very large church and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, another large church in Virginia Beach, another large church in Cincinnati, and another large following there in the country of Belize and South America. So God willing, if it be the Lord's will, in November, we'll be having an introduction meeting in South America. God willing, November of this year, if it be the Lord's will, in Belize. Thank God and I got a gospel already lined up. Amen. I don't have to go in the room and gather that stuff. We keep it handy all the time. Right. It's already ready. You Amen. know, folk, we got the best thing in the world. Amen. There's no maybe so about it, the best thing. 
Many don't understand us. I'm not mean. I'm not mean at all. My mission was given to me from God. That's plain and simple. Preach the gospel to every creature. Save your soul from the hellishness that is being preached under the heading of religion. I'd ride around Jackson, Mississippi and see the false churches lined up like cockroaches. Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, non-denominational, Catholic, Knights of Columbus, Morning Star, Eastern Star, Seventh-day Adventist, Apostolic, Pentecostal, Baptist this, Methodist that, Free Will Baptist, which means you're free to do whatever you want. <laughs> Think of it. Religious people are traditionalists. That's right. And when you are a traditionalist, it is hard for you to accept change. That's right. If you've been taught five plus five is eight, and you know that's not the truth, hmm. and you've been taught all your life five plus five is eight, and then somebody come tell you the truth, brother, sister, five plus five is 10. It's going to be hard for you to accept that truth because you've been misled for years to believe five plus five is eight. Regardless of how true it is that five plus five is ten, for you to accept that truth, you first got to humble yourself because to accept the truth that means you got to go against what you've been taught. That's right. And you may have gotten that teacher teaching from your mother, from your father, from your uncle, from your grandfather, from some religion. And when you go against that teaching to accept the truth of the equation or about the matter, God against that teaching also is a admission that I was taught wrong. And that's a hard pill to swallow. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's why many folks say that man is mean. He's hateful. Look how rude he sounds. Ha, ha, ha. I'm like the old country grandpa. You've been going to church for years. You're like a spoiled child That's right. who parents let you do everything you want to do, give you all the lollipops you want, give you all the sugar you want, let you play church. You ain't got to wash your hands. Amen. Run across the couch with your shoes on. Spank your child. Child hit you back. And you say, oh, ain't that cute. That's right. Glory to God. But when that child get in the house of grandma and grandpa, where rules are set, hmm. discipline is set, order is set, now that child is forced to conform. That's right. Because it's no longer in an atmosphere that patronizes it's misbehavior. It's no longer in an atmosphere that condone its disrespect. That's right. So now the child's in an atmosphere that is not used to, that demands obedience, respect, and the rule of law. That's right. The red beach of the Holy most God. high God, that's what holiness is. That's right. It demands to be conformed, right. not to this world. Not to this world. Thank God but be transformed by the renewing of your mind because there's a law now. That's right. And it's the law of God, not the law of Geno Jennings. That's right. So you waste your breath to get mad at me, buddy. <laughs> I didn't write this. I would, on a hot day like this, I would like to be in my swimming trunks. <laughs> That's right. Out there on the beach, laying out there, witnessing the world. Wouldn't you? Oh, yes. 
I'm pretty sure a day like today, you would like to be somewhere just chilling. Oh, yes. Hey, man, with your shorts on and tank top. Hey, man, with a nice ice cold daiquiri. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Hmm. Daiquiri in one hand and a rolled up piece of weed in the other. Am I right? Certainly you would. Or nice, or, or crack a can of ice cold Budweiser. <laughs> or some champagne on the rocks. You would like to do that. I'd like to do it. That's why folk don't want holiness. That's right. Holiness is the representation of God's thinking. Holiness is the representation of God's character. That's right. Holiness is the representation of God's expectation that he have out of the entire human race. Yeah. Holiness doesn't allow the infiltration and the delusion of the thought of men to be mixed and to God's teaching at all. When men's ideology and men's philosophy and men's theory try to work its way up and creep up into holiness, holiness crush it. That's right. And drive it out. That's right. That's why when you watch the truth of God, many people are shocked and write me by the thousands. I have never seen a religious program that give Bible for everything. I believe that the word of God is good enough, good enough for everybody and everything That's right. that I don't have to make up nothing. Yes. I don't have to pre-plan no sermon. Never been to Bible college since I've been black and I've been black for 58 years and I don't believe I'm going to change any colors. <laughs> So Mississippi, everybody, and I mean everybody, I thank God to have a holy message. And with the holy message, God give us holy results. I'd be embarrassed to be down here in Mississippi or in any other state telling people I've been preaching for 30 and 40 and 50 years and having baptized three people <laughs> in 10 years. Lord. God don't send men to do nothing. No. When God sent you, there's a calling, God sent not just attached to you, but when he sent you, he sent you with the mission. That's right. Don't you hear what he told his apostles? Go ye in all the world. All the world. And preach the gospel. Every creature. Glory to God, I feel the thing in me now. Preach it to every creature. Every he that creature. believeth and is baptized shall be shall saved. Be saved he that don't believe it will go to hell. That's it. Hallelujah. So I have a gospel. Hallelujah. I have a gospel. I have a gospel. Hallelujah. That was given to me from God. I didn't get it from the college. I didn't get it from the, you know, glory to God from no university. Hallelujah. I got it from God. Getting it from God, it make me thunder mm. against the whole world. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I go in any town, any village, any country in the world, by God's permission, I don't care if it's three people. God will give the truth of God more results in one day than mm. men been preaching in the city for 60 years. That's right. Why? Because this thing is of God. That's right. I want to crush the tradition of men. That's it. And I want to enforce and reinforce God's tradition. That's As I right. said earlier, many people are afraid of change. Yet they claim they're saved. Huh. Who ever heard of being born again and change don't come with it? Mm. I went and said, well, I took a bath. Did you change clothes? No. <laughs> Did you change your underwear? No. <laughs> Had the same underwear on all week long. Why are you bragging you took a bath? <laughs> and the flies are still visiting upon thee. <laughs> Amen. What have God said, if any man be in Christ? He is a new creature. What? He is a new creature. Now. 
You got to have a teaching to transform you. That's right. I don't care how much you want to be saved. Without teaching that come from God to transform you from what you were to what God wants you to be, then you're held hostage in the stage of ignorant and religious stupidity. That's right. In the midst of being sincere, you're held hostage, ignorant, blind, deaf, dumb, faithful going to a church, loyal working in the church, giving money to support the church, just to find out years later, the very religion that you're patronizing never exists in the scriptures at all. That's right. I want you to just think of it. Think of it. Go back and check your income taxes. See how much money you gave to support a religion that never exists in the Bible. Think of it, Jackson, Mississippi. You hear me preaching this more over, over the air? I got people are writing me by thousands, constantly telling me, you make me think deeper than I never thought before. It's not me. It's God that's preaching this in me. That's right. Amen. Yeah, you can't credit me. Many of you are Baptists and Methodists and Presbyterian and Lutheran and Apostolic and Pentecostal and non-denominational, and you have never thought to ask yourself that God tell me to be these things. These things. And yet you lead and praise service, collect an offering, carrying the bishop briefcase like you a secret agent, <laughs> giving him water like he preached he didn't do nothing. Amen. Directing choirs, singing on a choir, playing organs and drums and guitars. Some of you are deacons and elders and bishops and ministers and little half pint evangelists and a quarter of an inch pastor. That's right. Up preaching trial sermons, feeling like you something because now you're a junior elder, something that's equal to a $3 bill. Amen. Think of it. You. You've been hoodwinked. Oh, yes. You've been bamboozled. You've been led astray. That's right. And this is being done all in Jesus' name. That's right. You're going to die one day. Yeah. This would make me firm against false prophets. Oh, yes. When God instructed Noah to build an ark, it was for the salvation of the people to escape the judgment of God. Is that the truth? Well, don't you know the purpose of church is supposed to be that the word of God is preached that you might escape the hell fire that's coming, which is the judgment of God. That's right. Church is not designed to make a preacher rich. No. Church is not designed for a preacher to become wealthy as a result of preaching. No. Churches, is that, listen, you want a limousine? Get a job and go to work and buy it. You want a mansion? Fine. Get a job and go to work and buy it. I said, I said, buy it. That's right. Church, supposed to prepare you to meet God. That's it. All right, let's go to work in the Bible. I want you to take, I want you to follow me. And I want to take my time and soak in. I want to listen. I want you to listen good now. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, we'll start reading. You that are watching around the world, follow me in your Bible. That's right. All right, come on, Williams. Matthew, chapter 15, we'll start reading at the fifth verse. What is it? But ye say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift. Yes. By whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. Uh -huh. And out and out his father or his mother, he shall be free. Yes. Thus. Jesus said. Thus. Thus. Have ye made the commandment of God. Have you made a commandment? Give chapter and verse again. Matthew chapter 15. We'll start again at verse 5. Thus have ye made the, the commandment, commandment of God. The order of God. The regulations of God. The rules of God. Of the statutes of God. 
Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect, of no good, by your tradition. By your tradition. That's right. Ye hypocrites. You can't leave that part out. No way. Those that hold the tradition above God's commandments, what are they? Ye hypocrites. What? Well did he well, say. Well did Isaiah. Prophesy of you. Prophesy of you. Saying this people draweth nigh this unto me with their mouth. Honor me. Or draw nigh to me with their mouth. And honoreth me with their honoreth lips. Honoreth me with their lips. But their heart. But their heart. Is far from me. That's what I want to bring to Jackson. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I -S -S -I -S -S -I today. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. We have a lot of mouth service. Ma That's right. I don't blame no churchgoer. Yeah. Because if you don't know something, I can't charge you because you are innocent victims of bad teaching. That's right. We all was misled. Oh, yes. Lied to. Yeah. And some of the liars was our relatives. That's true. Our own fathers, That's right. uncles, grandfathers. And because they were family members, we thought it would be godly to help them. Yes. So we take God and support them yes. as if flesh and blood won't lead you wrong. <laughs> That's right. That's why family churches are no good. No good. You need God's church. Amen. God's church is built by the Spirit of God. Yeah. I don't care. You, you desire your family to be saved. Yeah. But uh, my wife is not the first lady. No. And my son is the treasurer, <laughs> and my nephew is the secretary. That's right. Keep all the money in the family. When you're in a church like that, haven't you wake up to the fact yet you in a family business? Amen. Thus, thus have ye made the commandment of God. Have ye made God commandment of none effect? Now hold it. By what? By your tradition. Holding on to your tradition. Your tradition. Preachers holding on to their tradition, water down. The reality of God's commandments. That's right. What is their tradition? That's right. Regardless that the Bible says repent and be baptized. Get me and hear me. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you. And unto your children and to them that is afar off even as many as the Lord our God shall call. That's a commandment. That's right. That's something you got to do. But the tradition of men that yes. the churches hold on to, bow your head. That's right. Raise your hand. Yeah. Accept Christ as your personal Savior. Yes. Join the church. Mm -hmm. Hold a preacher's hand and pray some cheap, unscriptural, sinner's right. prayer that nobody prayed in the Bible. <laughs> That's right. Nobody. Nobody. It ain't nobody in the Bible prayed it. That's right. Or the preacher is blind to Matthew 20, 19. Yeah. When Jesus said, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And the preacher out of blindness misunderstand it just like the one that thinks five and five is eight. That's right. He misunderstand Matthew 20 and 19 and he takes somebody in water and just repeat what Jesus said, but don't do what Jesus said. That's right. Jesus never told nobody, baptize Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. No. He said, do it in, in the, the name, name. In the name of the Father. Of the Father, and Son, of the and the Son. Holy Ghost. Hear me? It. And to do it in the name, you got to know the name so you can obey the scripture. And then when I know the name, I don't have to mention the titles. That's right. I'll call the name. That's right. And I'll blast the name of Jesus Christ upon creation. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Thus have you made the commandment of God. Have ye made the commandment of God? God's commandment. Of none effect. Of none effect. By your tradition. God commanded, I suffer not a woman to teach. Nor the use of authority over the man. But to be in silence with all subjection. That's right. That's God's commandment. That's right. That's written in 1 Timothy chapter 2. Verse 11 and 12. And verse 11 and 12. Let the woman learn Let in silence learn with all that, subjection. That, and when you hear this right away, the hypocrite said, that's male chauvinism. No, that's inspired scripture. <laughs> that's right. The Bible said all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. For doctrine. 
In other words, the word of God is divinely inspired. Mm -hmm. And nobody wrote anything on their own opinion, on their own accord. No. The word of God says. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Let the woman learn in silence and be subjection while she's doing it. But I suffer not a, I woman, suffer to not teach, a woman to teach. Nor to you suffer authority, authority over, the over the man. But what? But to be in silence. But to be in silence. For Adam was first formed. Then what? Then Eve. And what happened? And Adam was not deceived. But what happened? But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Did you hear that? Amen. They ignored that commandment. That's right. And hold to their tradition, That's right. women bishops, women elders, yeah. women pastors, yeah. women evangelists, yeah. women assistant pastors. They, the Bible says, what? Thus have ye made the commandment of God. Oh, Hallelujah. Glory, take God. We're going to make it more hotter than what it is now. <laughs> Amen. I want you to look at the church you came from, the church that tricked you, the church that lied to you, the church that you've been patronizing, the church that you are minister in, the church that you want to choir in, the church that you play the instrument in, and sees that church lined up with the Bible. That's right. And if that church ain't lined up with the Bible, face the fact, if you stay there, you're going to hell. That's if right. If you leave there, you got a chance to be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said what? Thus have ye made the commandment of oh! God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thus have ye made the commandment of God. Have ye made God's order. Of none effect. Of none effect. By your tradition. Church tradition. Your tradition. And Holy Ghost tradition. That's right. The Apostle Paul told the church. In the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Follow me in your Bible. Give chapter and verse again. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. We're at verse 15. I'm working on the tradition of men right. versus the tradition of God. That's right. Uh -huh. 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 15. Yes. Therefore, brethren. Therefore, brethren. Stand fast. Hold fast. Stay in it. And hold. Stand fast and hold. Hold the traditions. The traditions. Which ye have been taught. That ye have been taught. Whether by word. Whether by word. Or our epistle. Or by what we wrote. Now, the uh, mm -hmm. traditions that the Apostle Paul is talking about is the tradition or the teaching that Jesus gave the Apostles, right. which is Holy Ghost tradition. That's right. That means the standard of God, the orders of God, the doings of God right. that he taught his Apostles so the church would know how to be governed. That's it. That's what the apostles' doctrine is. That's right. When the Bible says in Acts 2.42, they continue. Steadfastly. Steadfastly. In the apostles' doctrine. In the apostles' doctrine, that means that the apostles stood fast in the teaching of Jesus, and the teaching of Jesus was the lessons that was outlined to the apostles to govern the church. That's right. That the church may know how to function. That's right. What, how to baptize. How to do it. Uh -huh. what, how, how, what's the evidence of Holy Ghost? Holy Ghost, that's right. How to lay hands on somebody. That's it. How you use oil right. when it's come time for prayer. That's right. How to serve the Lord's Supper. Should we use a tray of glasses or should we have one cup? That's right. What are you doing? That's Laying right. the foundation. Yeah. He told us what's in the church. Yeah. He said, first in the church, apostles. Apostles. Huh? That's right. And what is that? That's right. That's the tradition of God. Church tradition is it ain't no apostles now. God had sent some it in the church. It ain't no apostles now. Ain't no Hallelujah. prophets now. The bishop is the head of the church. Come tell me that. I slapped you over with the Bible. That's right. I won't just knock you over. I slap you over with the Bible. That's right. I got Bible what God put in the church. That's right. And I dare anybody to tell me God took out what he put in. First, first Corinthians 12 and verse 28. Follow the old troublemaker now. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 28. Listen. And God has God. sent some. God. Not Geno Jennings. No, God. Not God. Williams. No. Not Elder McLennan. That's right. Not Butler. That's right. Not Shabazz. No. Not no. Brandon. No, sir. And God. Wait a minute. Who's the boss? God. Who's the head of the church? God. Hallelujah. Who's responsible for the teaching of the apostles? God. Who's the author? God. Who's the finisher of our faith? God. Who does the church belong to? God. Who runs the church? God. Who's the boss of the church? God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Are you listening to the old man? And God, God had set some, had set some in, in the, the church. church. First apostles. He did what? God had set some in the church. First apostles. God had set some in the church. First apostles. No, God took them out. God had set some in the church. First apostles. No, the board of directors make apostles. God had set some in the church. First apostles. No, your mama had a dream and you became an apostle by your mama's dream. God had set some in the church. First apostles. No, the bishop make you an apostle by laying hands. On you. God had set some in the church first apostles. Oh, it be God, the apostleship come from God. That, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. He's God called. That's right. And it's God sent. God made. God authorized. He sent by authority <laughs> to represent authority and bring you the policies of a king. That's right. Amen. That's why I, I, I'm an ambassador, you know. That's right. Everywhere I go around the world, I bring the policies of a king. That's right. And the king that policy Williams hold my policy book. Oh yeah. That's why I can't bring you my opinion, my idea, because it don't mean nothing. Go ahead. I got to bring you the policies of God, the tradition of God, the order of God, the doctrine of God, Go the commandment of God. That's right. Hey, That's right. What? God had set some in the oh! church. Go ahead. Set. set some in the church. Some in the church. First apostles. That's the first office in there. That's right. That's the first office in the governor church. That's right. Apostles. Secondarily. Secondary prophets. prophets. Thirdly teachers. Thirdly teachers. After that, miracles. miracles. Then gifts of healing. Gifts of healing. Helps. Help. Help. Governments. Governments. Diversities of tongues. Diversity of tongues. So God set all these things in the church. In the church. But when you hold to your tradition, your tradition. Eh, it, ain't no, it, it ain't no apostle, no bishop, no elder. It's reverend. No. See, that's church tradition. That's right. Reverend Cunningham. That's right. <laughs> Reverend Brown. Reverend Williams. That's right. Doctors, doctors of waters. Yeah. We bring before you a uh, doctor water and that old fraud, that's a fraud. fake of a poor excuse of a preacher, he get up not even in his regular voice. Yeah. He come before the church and say, let the church say, man. That's right. Ah, ah, let the church say man again. That's right. Oh, I was glad when they said it to me. To me. Let us go <gasps> into the house of the Lord. That's right. That's right. Am I right? Amen. What is that? Thus have ye made the commandment of God <coughs> of what? Of none effect by your tradition. He's a performer. Amen. He's not a preacher. No. Not a preacher. Tradition of men. Tradition of men. You hold on to that. That's right. When you hold on to your tradition. Laying aside the commandment of God. Listen at this. In Listen the, at this. Listen at this. In the book of St. Mark, chapter 7 and at verse 8. I want you to follow me in the Bible. Listen again. St. Mark, chapter 7, we're at verse 8. For laying aside the commandment of God. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. What they do with God's commandment. Laying aside you the know commandment of God. You got to be a hypocrite. That's right. You got to be a first class USDA choice hypocrite. Amen. To hear God commanded. Don't you know God commanded you to be baptized? That's right. No one said that's Genesis teaching. No, it ain't. No. God command. That's Listen. Right. God command you to repent. And God command you to be baptized. That's right. Hold what you got and give me the 17th chapter of the book of Acts. Book of Acts. I want to get the commandment the to commandment. repent. And then give me the 10th chapter yes. of the book of Acts. And I want the commandment the to commandment. be baptized. And everybody that don't do this will burn in everlasting hell. That's right. Now let me just educate you. Your tradition is bow your head. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. And you came out the church talking about you saved. You no more saved than a duck can smoke crack and lay square eggs. <laughs> Amen. You ain't never been saved. No. Your tradition is hold the hands of a preacher. Yeah. And repeat a sinner's prayer. And that old Jerry curl head fake elder tell you to repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Wash me. Cleanse me. White as snow. And then the preacher say, why are you holding your hand? Or why are you looking at him on television? Mm -hmm. If you said these words... You're saved, my friend. You a liar. That's a lie. You can get mad at Pastor Jennings all you want.
But uh, when you get mad, you come on back tomorrow morning. Don't you go to your church. That's Don't right. need to waste your time and go to your church. That's right. If you want to get right with God, you come on and do it like the Bible said That's and it. stop playing church. That's right. Stop playing church. That's right. If you mean business, do it right. If you don't mean business, stop playing church because you're going to go to hell, God knows. That's right. What did he say? Acts chapter 17 and at verse 30. All right. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men. Wait a minute. Amen. In the time of this ignorance, God winked at, meaning God had mercy on you when you didn't know no better. That's right. But what? But now commandeth now. all men. God command. God commandeth all God men. command how much? All men. Everybody. All men. Everybody. Everywhere. Everywhere. To repent. Repentance is a what? God commandeth all men everywhere to repent. All right. Now let's get baptism. Acts chapter 10, we'll start at verse 44. I got some folk fighting me now. That's Geno Jennings' baptism, you fool. That's a, that's a fool. I didn't write the Bible. That's right. Well, left up the Geno Jennings. I wouldn't care if you're baptized, never. No. What would I care? That's right. I didn't write the Bible. That's right. My job is simply tell you what's right. Yeah. I don't care if you're somebody's grandmother, mother, or grandfather. Yeah. If you bow your head and raise your hand, you never will see. Yes. If you pray the sinner's prayer, never will see. That's right. If you say you got baptized and the preacher said, Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, you're not baptized. That's right. If you join the church, the Bible ain't never told nobody to join the church. That's right. You never was baptized. Yeah. You're not saved. Oh, yes. You've been a sinner 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, That's 55, right. 60 years. Amen. And God still got you living. That's right. You know why God got you living? To show mercy upon you. That's right. To give you a chance to get right. That's right. Right now. Right now. Right here. That's right. Hey. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Listen at this. Acts chapter 10, we'll start at verse 44. All right. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. Now I want you to hear this. I want to show you that baptism is a commandment. That's right. Uh -huh. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believe were astonished. As chapter many, verse again. Acts chapter 10, I started at verse 44. Says what? While Peter yet spake these words, yeah. the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. Uh -huh. And they of the circumcision which believe were astonished. And what? As many as came with Peter, Why? because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know they had the Holy Ghost? For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Yeah. Then answered Peter. Then answered Peter. Can any man forbid water? That's my question. Amen. Even if you do have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Yes. But you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you still ain't completely born again. That's right. Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man is born of the water and of the spirit. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. When you're born of the spirit, you have the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost speaking in tongue like they received it on the day of Pentecost that's as the Spirit of God gave utterance. That's, right. that's when you're born of the water and of the Spirit. That's when you're born again. Yeah. That's when you have the new birth. Yes. Anything else is a bundle of recycled trash that came out of hell and it came from hell and your preacher vomited up that's right, right in your pulpit. Then answered Peter. Then answered Peter. Can any man forbid water? Oh, it be to God. Can any man forbid water? That we should not be baptized. Come on back the Bible. That, that's that we right. should not be baptized. Which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. Then what? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. No, he commanded them to bow their head and raise their hand, except Christ as a personal Savior. He commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. He commanded them to pray a sinner's prayer. He commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. He commanded them to join the church. He commanded them them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Amen. Be, be baptized how? In the name of the Lord. And the Lord's name is Jesus and he's the Christ. That's right. Thus, thus have you made. Let's go back laying aside. Back in Mark chapter 7 and verse 8. Follow me in the Bible. For laying Let's aside. Follow me in the Bible. Mark chapter 7 and I'm at verse 8. Says what? For laying aside the commandment of God. Laying aside God's commandment. Ye hold the tradition of men. You hold the tradition of men. As the washing of pots and cups. Yes. And many other such things like ye do. Yes. And he said unto them, full well. Full well. Ye reject the commandment of God. Uh oh, you reject God. 
God's commandment. That ye may keep your own tradition. And that's what got me fighting religion. That, that's right. They got the tradition of women preachers. Yeah. They got the tradition of first lady in the church. Oh, yes. They got created all type of tradition of praise dances praise all dance. up on a stage. That's right. Amen. Dancing to worldly music. Yeah. They got their tradition supposed to be Christians, and yet they sponsor a cruise where so-called Christian save women Go ahead. lay out there with bathing suits and so-called right. Christian men yeah. out there, bless God, with swimming trunks, That's half right. naked. That's right. That's right. And you claim you save? Ye hold the tradition of men. You claim you a saved woman Amen. with hot pants? Yeah. A saved woman in a bikini? That's right. A saved woman with skin tight, low riding jeans? Amen. A saved brother with shorts? That's right. A saved brother with his hair dyed and earrings in his ear? Yeah. A saved woman looking like a neighborhood hooker? Go ahead. Am I right? For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition you call of that men. beauty. Amen. Beauty is vain. That's right. Give me Jeremiah, Jeremiah 430. 430. Follow me. Amen. In the fourth chapter of the book of Jeremiah mm -hmm. and the 30th verse, you hold your half naked tradition yeah. and the preacher come out of hell and say what you like. God ain't looking at your eye. <laughs> God just look at the heart. That makes hypocrites feel good. Feel good. When he tell that lie, a hypocrite go off in the tongue. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's right. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. When hell hits you, you're going to be higher than yeah, God knows. That's right. Huh? Let's see what the word of God says. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 30. God ain't looking at your outward. He's looking at the heart, you liar. That's a lie. If God ain't looking at your outward as well as the heart, why in the world will he tell a man in 11 chapter 1 Corinthians it's a shame for him to have long hair? Long hair. Long hair is outward. Your That's right. heart don't grow hair. <laughs> That's right. How's outward? Outward. God, it ain't, it don't matter how you look. That's a lie. That's a lie. Can you imagine Pastor Jenner standing before you in a blood red pimp suit, Ooh. yellow shoes, big old blood red hat with a peacock feather, pink, hot pink gloves. My Lord. We bring before you our brother, Pastor Jenner, and I come up with the pimp, with the, with the pimp stroll. <laughs> And my son saying greeting to you. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> pimping. Just pimping. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Am I right, I said? Amen. How did we, as a religious people, become so dirty oh, yeah. and so filthy that we call any garbage church? That's right. How did we get this blind? Amen. Many of the old timers, the same thing they used to chastise young people about, now they're doing it themselves. Oh, yes. Grandma is Grandma. in mini skirts. That's right. Grandma got her back out. That's right. Grandma showing her cleavage. Grandma wearing hot pants. That's right. Grandma looked like a rather street prostitute. Yeah. Oh, yes. The same thing that she rebuked young girls for doing. Yeah. She's doing it. He's doing it. Look at the old men. You didn't wear earring when you was 15. You wait till you get 55, 65, 75. Now you got an earring in your ear and a hearing aid at the same time. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Can't even get your earring through there and keep hitting up against the hearing aid. <laughs> Keep making your battery have a shortage. Amen. You should be you should be staying up all night praying. Yeah. Trying to go back with God. That's right. That's why God sent my big mouth to warn the world. Glory to God. They ignored Noah. They didn't believe the message that God gave Noah either. No. But it rained just like Noah said. That's right. Amen. And God sent Noah ahead of the flood. God sent us ahead of his coming That's right. to warn the world. You better get right with Hallelujah. God or die and go to hell. That's right. There is no in-between. No. 
It ain't no purgatory. Oh, no. It's right or wrong. That's it. It's heaven or hell. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's right. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care what you own. I don't care what you drive. How cute you are. Cute you are. Woman, if you got so many curves until an entire ant colony can go up and down your body and it take them three years to just get every groove you got. <laughs> when the ant reaches destination, if you die without God, you ain't your curves going burn in hell. That's right. Hell. A everlasting hell. Yes. Are you too cute to go to hell? Hmm. Are you too built to go to hell? Hmm. Brother who think you're a God gift to every woman out here. Yeah. Do you think you're that much of a gift? You're too good to go to hell? That's right. Let us understand something. God is not impressed with not a rich man or a politician or a Democrat or a Republican or a liberal living. Mm -hmm. God told everybody everywhere to repent. Everywhere. And he ain't made no exceptions. There is no message for rich folk no. and a separate message for poor folk. No, no. A different message for white folk. That's a right. A separate message for black folk. God commanded everybody everywhere. to obey it. That's right. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Of the cream. Go ahead, you brother. Got this That's right. Yeah. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God. Hallelujah! Come on back. Go ahead, brother. Oh, you gonna come do it? Oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> That's right. You gonna do this? That's right. Or you gonna lift up your eyes in an everlasting hell? Jeremiah chapter yeah. four. And while you burning, mm -hmm. you gonna remember mm. that you heard holiness. That's right. You're going to remember. That's right. You're going to remember you heard holiness. Oh, yes. And while you're tossing and trying to put out the flames of hell. Hallelujah. Fallen! Or oh, take God and never hit a bottom. Yeah. You're going to remember that you heard holiness when God right. told you to repent. That's right. And you was too arrogant and too self-righteous yeah. to obey it. Oh, yeah. He said repent. Repent. Be sorry about your cigarette sucking. That's right. That's right. Living together, not married. Hallelujah. Shooting dice, playing cards, going to your Jackson, Mississippi bar. Hallelujah. Drunk all night, going to your club, throwing your money right. at some thong wearing looking whore. Go ahead. You just shook up behind and you now took all your money right. and you can't even take care of your wife and children That's right. because the whore got your money Go down in her thumb. Go ahead. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. You see why the preachers won't preach this? No. They say, I'm too militant. Yeah. No, I'm not too militant. God just sent me to preach everything. That's right. I say everything. Everything. What is that? Jeremiah chapter 4 and at verse 30. All right. And when thou art spoiled, when thou art spoiled what wilt thou do? Uh -huh. Though thou closest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. You deck yourself with ornaments of gold. Look, thou, at you. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Look at you. You got your big earrings and chains all around your neck, right. looking like a miniaturized version of Mr. T. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Rings on every finger. Many folks right be Pastor Jennings. Why you don't wear a wedding band? Because the Bible speak against speak rings. Speak against rings. Well, how folks gonna know you're married? Act like it. <laughs> That's right. The wedding band don't make, don't prove nothing to nobody. No. Act like it, I said. Amen. I said, act like it. That's right. And when thou art Woman, if you think a wedding band make that man committed to you, you are you, you deceived. Oh, yeah. One man, if you think that wedding band you wearing make your wife committed to you, it never did and it never will. That's right. That commitment got to be in here. That's right. If it's not in here, it ain't nothing but a decoration. That's it. Ah! And when thou art spoiled. When thou art spoiled. What wilt thou do? You see, that's that's the problem with people. Yeah. And that's why they so upset with Pastor Yenon. Oh, because yes. Because I got a gospel that beats you. And you spoil because the church you go to, the word of God don't beat you. The preacher just play with you. That's he right. just hit you and tell you, you better stop it. <laughs> you you want to be saved. Be a good Christian. Love your neighbor. Stop doing that, that's, brother. That's right. Brother. Brother. <laughs> stop. Don't do that. Bad sister. Bad sister. Amen. Am I right? Spoiled. We come along from the hood like Jesus did from Nazareth. <laughs> come along with scripture. That's right. Repent. Be baptized. In the name. Glory to God. You see what I'm talking about. That's right. That's what we come with. That's right. 
Tell them, tell them, brother. Tell them. And that's what you're not used to. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. I came up old school. We done wrong. Our father went and got that belt. Come here. That's what I'm used to. Oh, yeah. Young people today, this is what they're used to. John, go in the corner. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> That's right. Just the way you spoil little Johnny with that cheap time out foolishness. Yeah. It's the same way your pastor yeah. has spoiled you mm -hmm. about your sins. That's right. Your time out is all what you've been doing. That's right. Taking time out to play church. Oh, yes. We come along with God everlasting word, breaking up the church play. That's right. Which is nothing but years of the tradition of men. That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh, it's a God. And when thou art spoiled, when you're spoiled, what wilt thou do? Praise his great name. Though thou closest thyself with crimson, Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. You get yourself decked up with gold. Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. Paint, makeup. That's right. <laughs> Got it, your lips all red and mm -hmm. rouge on your face. Yeah. Eyelashes. Yeah. About an inch and two inches long. That's right. Like you got a fan on your eyes. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. What's wrong with the eyelashes God gave you? God gave you. Every dumb, ignorant, stupid, foolish worthless trend that come out. Yeah. Your daughters do it. Your mama do it. Oh, yeah. Grandma do it. Got them long eyelashes on her eyes and got cataracts. That's right. That's Look right. like you got a mop on your eyes. Amen. We teach our women love the way your Lord made you. Oh, yeah. When you love the way God made you, you will realize beauty, you can't go online and order a box of beauty. No. Beauty is not, you can't get it from Amazon. No. You can't get beauty from Walgreens. That's right. You can't get beauty from CVS. That's right. So take that cheap horse hair that you call a woman and let the hair that God gave you oh, yeah. cover your head and then put a hat on that. That's right. Get rid of those fake eyelashes. That's right. Love yourself. Go ahead. If your lips ain't that color, get that paint off your lips. Yeah. God said when thou art spoiled. And when, when thou art spoiled. Thou art spoiled. What wilt thou do? Be spoiled. Amen. Spoiled. Well, Pastor Jennings, my preacher don't preach against it. I know because he look at it. That's right. My bishop don't tell us we got to wear a long dress. I know he don't because he loves to see your thighs. That's right. He wants to see your calf. That's right. He loves to see that tattoo on your calf. Oh, and yeah. And when you walk, that image just moves. <laughs> huh? That's right. My bishop don't tell me that there's anything wrong with having my blouse down to here. What's wrong with Pastor Jennings? Mm -hmm. If you got it, flaunt it. Flaunt it. Well, if you got that attitude, then don't you fight off a rapist. That's right. If that's your attitude, don't fight off no rapists. Amen. The Holy Ghost said. And when thou art spoiled, what, when wilt, thou, what wilt thou do? Look at this half nigger generation. Spoil, spoiled. I go through the airport, young girls with their pajamas on. That's true. Night clothes in the street. That's right. Wearing nightgowns. That's right. In the street. That's right. That's right. And you mothers let this garbage go under your roof. Under your roof. No more control of your house. Yeah. Fathers have drunk. That's right. He's not respected as a man because he don't live nothing to deserve respect. Amen. He got an earring in his ear, yeah. cussing out his wife. Oh, yeah. Beating up his wife. Yeah. Then go to church on Sunday. So glad I'm here. So glad I'm here in Jesus' name. Oh, he's on some old quartet group. I'm going up yonder. That's right. Hey, trying to be up, 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 up. Hey! That's right. A bunch of drunks. Drunks, amen. Preach it, man. You have your drunken quartet groups come in your church. Yeah. Your church supposed to be holy. Oh, yeah. Your church supposed to be sanctified. Mm -hmm. How in the world a bunch of brown lip, cigarette sucking, joint smoking, beer guzzling, jerry curl head, half naked, drunken men mm. can come in a holy, sanctified church. That's right. Just to entertain the people. That's right. 
God church is not a place of entertainment. Amen. God said, my house That's right. shall be called a house of prayer. Glory to God for all people. For all people. Ah! Amen. The Holy Ghost said. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. When you're spoiled, what wilt thou do? What you going to do now? Amen. Some of, you are, some of you are adults. Look how spoiled you are. Spoiled. Half naked. Out here half naked. <laughs> I had a woman in her 80s one day. Came out the service to shake my hand. She said, I've been watching you for five years. She said, I agree with everything you preach, young man. She said, but I can't wear them long dresses like an old woman. Amen. I said, mother, how old are you? She said, I'm 83. My Lord. I said, and you don't want to wear a dress like what? She said, like an old woman. I said, I hope you be ready. Amen. When Jesus comes. Amen. You got one foot in the grave, one foot halfway out the bed, yeah. one hand writing your will, and the other writing your own obituary column. That's right. And when thou art spoiled, don't you know you are alive today? Amen. So you can prepare yourself prepare. to meet God? That's right. That's, That's right. the only reason why you're still living. Yeah. You ain't living for no other reason. No, no. You ain't living because you lucky. No. You didn't survive that accident because you was lucky. That's right. You didn't get shot and live because you're lucky. Yeah. You didn't OD and still hear because you're lucky. No. You didn't get stabbed up and still breathing because you're lucky. No. God stand and chill, cut you off. They give you extension time. That's right. Give you time. Then when you fail to respect the time. That's it. That God give you, yeah. God say, all right, all right, I may as well just cut you off. That's right. You don't want me. You don't want me. That's right. When thou art spoiled, what you going to do? Though thou closest thyself with crimson. Close yourself with crimson. Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. Though thou rentest thy face with painting. What is it? In vain shalt thou make thyself fair. All that stuff is in vain. Your lovers will despise thee. They will seek thy life. All right, let's go back to where we were now. Back in St. Mark chapter 7, still at verse 8. Everybody all right? Yeah, hear, hear me now. Mark chapter 7, I'm at the 8th verse. Oh, I'm so glad for this message. For laying aside the commandment of and God. people wonder why so many hungers are coming from all around the world. Amen. You don't hear, and I'm not saying it uh, at because, uh, as a puffed up man. I'm saying it because it's true. Yeah. You don't hear this kind of preaching nowhere on social media, no. on radio, no. on television. No. They are scared. Yeah. To obey what God said. God said, crawl out. That's right. Spare not. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up your voice as a trumpet. As a trumpet. Show my people that transgressed in the house of Jacob their sin. That's right. I fight the governments of the world. White house, doll house, red house, black house. <laughs> That's right. I don't care who you are. That's right. Amen. When it comes to the word of God, I was made a preacher. Oh, yes. Being made a preacher, I'm sent to do one thing. Stand for God and fight, fight. the powers of hell. That's right. That's right. This thing about seeing God is real business. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. All right, son. For laying aside the commandment yeah, chapter and verse. in St. Mark chapter 7, we're at verse 8. Laying aside the commandment of God. God's order. Ye hold the tradition of men uh -huh. as the washing of pots and cups and many other such things like ye do. Yes. And he said unto them, full well, uh -huh. ye reject the commandment of God. You reject God's commandment. That ye may keep your own tradition. And? For Moses said, honor thy father and thy mother. And whoso cursed father or mother, let him die the death. Now, are you in the church today hmm. where they are holding to tradition more That's than tradition. Bible? That's right. Are you going to a church Amen. where their tradition, yeah. they respect it more than Bible? That's right. Have you ever had a bishop and your understanding came open and you went to the bishop and said, Bishop, we are doing such and such a thing. And the Bible says such and such a thing. Mm. And Bishop said, well, we don't do it like that over here. Mm. But Bishop, the Bible said, I don't care what the Bible said. That's right. This is the way we do it. That's Haven't right. you heard false, only a false prophet talk like that? Yeah. I say only a false only. prophet, a minister of Satan. That's right. Talks like that because God preachers hold up scripture. That's right. That's right. Or that God, and when that scripture hits him, it makes him conform. Yes. It makes him change. Mm -hmm. Thus, 
Thus have ye made the commandment of yeah, God. Captain Vest. Back in St. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 6. Thus. Thus have ye made the commandment of God. Have ye made God commandment. Of none effect. By what? By your tradition. All right. Ye everybody. You what? Ye hypocrite. <laughs> Yeah, hypocrites. Well, did Isaiah well, prophesy did of you? Isaiah talk about you? Saying, this people draweth nigh unto me you with their mouth. You draw nigh. You, get, you, you bring a bunch of lip to the Lord. Oh, church, I want to be on God's side. Some folks say, I've been praying for God to bring me to the truth. And then when they hear this message, which is nothing but 100% truth, something comes they don't want to obey. That's right. Like giving up that second wife and that second husband. Yeah. They got that second wife and that second husband are living together, not married right away. They say, well, Pastor Jennings, you mean to tell me, don't bring me in it. <laughs> no. I don't mean to tell you nothing. That's don't right. even call my name. That's right. Don't even call my name. Amen. The tradition of men say, get all the wives you want. Yeah. Some of you got bishops that got more than one wife. Oh, Some yeah. of you, your daddy got a second wife. Amen. His first wife is living, which is your mama, and his second wife is living, which is the so-called stepmama. And he's talking about he's God sent. He's a child of the devil. That's right. Are you listening? If you were a preacher here today and you got another wife and your first wife is living, you're a false prophet, you're a deceiver of the devil, you live by the devil, and you're going to hell unless you stop. That's right. Seven chapter of the book of Romans. Romans chapter seven one. at verse one. That's what? No, you're not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. I speak to them that know the law. How that the law hath How dominion. The law have power over man as long as he Liveth. Over the man long as he breathes. For the woman which hath an husband, the woman that got a husband is bound by the law, to her, by husband, the law to her husband so long as he liveth. Long as he's breathing. But if the husband be dead, if the husband be dying, if the husband be dead, crippled, if the husband be dead, prison, be dead, lame, if the husband be dead, short, but if the husband be dead, blind, be dead, death, be dead, bald head, but if the husband be dead, long hair, if the husband be dead, no, he lost his social security, but if the husband be dead, he lost his pension, if the husband be dead, lost his job. If the husband be dead. On the picket line. If the husband be dead. Crippled. Dead. Got a charley horse. Dead. Broke his foot. Dead. Broke his leg. Dead. Broke his arm. Dead. Stuck in traffic. <laughs> dead. <laughs> That's right. What? But if the husband be dead. You're going to come back to Bible. You got this to do. Oh, yes. You got this to do. Any preacher don't preach this. He's a liar and a deceiver and a Jackson, Mississippi hypocrite. That's right. The Holy Ghost has. But if the husband be dead. If the husband be dead. She is loose from the law free. of her husband. Then you're free That's from right. the law of the husband. So then if. If. Well, the husband liveth. Look how plain it is. Don't Amen. come to me at the service. Pastor Jennings, you mean to tell me. I, I didn't write this. No. That's right. I didn't write this. Oh, no. Oh, chapter and verse. Romans chapter 7, now we're at verse 3. Well, Pastor Jennings, who wrote this? Hold that. Give me the last chapter of the book of Romans, Romans. and I believe about verse 22. Verse 22. And let's see who wrote this. Romans chapter 16, and we're at verse 22. That's what? I, Tertius. I, Tertius. Tertius. Who wrote this epistle. Who wrote this epistle. Salute you in the Lord. Salute you. Not I, she know Jennings who wrote this. I Tertius who wrote this epistle. I Tertius who wrote this. I Tertius who wrote this epistle. Salute you in the Lord. And what did Tertius write in the seventh chapter of the Romans? And verse three. Says what? So then if. If. While her husband lives. While your husband is still breathing. I don't care if he's breathing in jail. Breathing on a respirator. That's breathing right. in the electric chair. Breathing while they're putting lethal injection in him. That's right. Breathing in another state. Mm -hmm. Breathing in another country. Yeah. Breathing living on a farm. Yeah. Breathing on underground in a cave. And so then if, if, while her husband liveth, while your husband is still alive, she be married to another man, and you still got, and now you're married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. No, she shall be called a Christian. She shall be called an adulteress. A Christian. An adulteress. She shall, she shall be called saved. She shall be called an adulteress. Born again. An adulteress. Choir director. An adulteress. She's on the choir. She shall be called an adulteress. She's the preacher's daughter. She shall be called an adulteress. The preacher's niece. She shall be called an adulteress. A grandmother. She shall shall be called an adulteress. Your mama. She shall be called an adulteress. Amen. Hallelujah. It's plain. It's in your Bible. Give chapter and verse. Romans. You see, some don't like to read it because they're going to see it. <laughs> That's right. 
Give chapter and verse. Romans chapter 7 and we're at verse 3. Give chapter and verse. Romans chapter 7 and verse 3. If you don't get out that second marriage or you living together, not married, and you don't heard this message preached, when you die, you're going to burn in hell, God knows. That's right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Just tell me, is that breast worth going to hell over? Go ahead, brother. Is those thighs so warm and cushiony? Oh. <laughs> it's worth going to hell over. Amen. No, no. It's not worth it. It's not Is worth that it. lap dance worth going to hell over? No, no. You better hear this warning, Mississippi, and the rest of the world. That's right. You better hear. You better hear now. You better hear. So then if. Give chapter and verse. Romans chapter 7 and verse 3. Don't even ask me about it after service. I didn't write it. Didn't write it. You mean to tell me it doesn't matter what you think? <laughs> That's right. I didn't write this. That's right. Well, we got kids. Kids are innocent victims of your adulterous relationship. That's right. He got to take care of those kids. But as long as his wife is living and his name is really Mr. Brown and Mrs. Brown is cross town. <laughs> Amen. And now here's a second Miss Brown come along. Second. Mm -hmm. And yet her name, her maiden name is Miss Black. Yeah. Hey, Miss Black. That's right. Every time you say, I'm Mrs. Brown. Yeah. And the real Miss Brown live, every time you use his name. Oh, yeah. Use a liar. That's a lie. If yeah. your name is on a checkbook, yeah. you a liar. Oh, yeah. If your name is on the bank account, yeah. You's a liar. That's right. If your name is on the deeds of the house, hmm. you a liar. That's right. Well, what's your name, Mrs. Brown? Liar! Lied. Because in God's eyes, they ain't your husband. That's right. You riding somebody else's car. My Lord. You shifting somebody else's gears. Mm. And you moving somebody else's stick. Mm. Am I right? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Pretty quiet now, Pastor. Pretty quiet. Go ahead, bro. Will the real Mrs. Brown stand up? That's right. Every time you introduce her, this is my wife. Liar! That's a lie. That's a lie. Because a lie. you still paying child support and alimony to your first wife. Amen. Liar! Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost said. Romans 7 and verse 3. So, so that. Mm -hmm. Tenth chapter of Mark. Mm -hmm. Amen. Tenth chapter of the book of Mark. Quickly. Quickly. Right. Remember what I'm working on. That's right. They hold their tradition. Hold their tradition they right. reject the commandment of God to hold their tradition. That's right. I know it's tight. I didn't write this. Well, you can't have more than one wife in Pastor Jenna's church. You's a lie. I ain't got no church. <laughs> you're trying to soften the blows. That's right. That's what you're trying. That's why they try to blame it on me. That's you're right. trying to soften the blows. That's right. I'm pretty sure somebody on the internet now, there he is preaching that same thing. Some, somebody... Posted on the internet when I was preaching here, Pastor Jennifer, me and my second wife listening to you. Ha ha <laughs> ha ha. That don't fall, that don't phase me. No, that's no, like doesn't. telling Noah, we ain't coming in the ark. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha. Before you know it, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> hey Noah! Hey Noah! Noah! Amen. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Dead now. Dead. Your one belief about the rain didn't stop Noah? No. Your one belief about the scriptures don't stop my mouth at all. At all. You see, I'm not after your money. I don't care if you gave a million dollars per person. I tell you the truth and knock you over with your checkbook in your hand. That's right. That's right. 
I don't care. <laughs> That's right. What if God say, nigga, you came in the world. Yeah. And say it, you shall return. You shall return. I don't give two cents about your money. No. My laboring is to get you to meet God That's and it. escape the consequences of hell. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. And you go find some lazy, worthless bum that posed as a preacher down here in Mississippi that I tell you what you want to hear. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, that's for back then. I got my second wife, being my wife didn't work out, so I sought the Lord. Did he go in some fake spirit that only work in the neck? Oh, glory. <laughs> Glo glory. And the Lord gave me my wife. The Lord and, did. And, 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 and Sister Susie, she even got her husband still living too. Now, what do you think about that? Um, her second husband, and she's my second. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord love us both. Yeah, he love you. He love you enough to send you to hell. <laughs> That's right. You gonna obey just what God said. God said. Old man, young man, grandma, grandpa, young man, young woman, I don't give two cents what you think. Yeah. If God said it, God said it. you got to obey it. That's it. That's what makes the truth of God different from everybody, church. That's right. We have no respect or regard for no man's tradition. That's right. We believe only and what God said. That's right. All right, give me Jesus in the 10th chapter book of Mark quick so I can knock off. St. Mark chapter 10, we'll start reading at verse 9. All right. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Yes. And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter. And he saith unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another, commit adultery Brother against James, her. Wake up. Another bottle of water real quick. All right. <laughs> and he saith unto them, yes. Whosoever shall put away his wife uh -huh. and marry another. Give me one quickly, please. And All right. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Whosoever put away his wife. And marry another. And marry another. Committeth adultery, committeth adultery against her. Against her. And if a Read woman. Read that again. And he's, Mark chapter 10 at verse 11. That's right. And he saith unto them, whosoever. Whoever, 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 whoever. Anybody here don't know whoever mean, raise your hand. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead, put your hand up. <laughs> That's right. Come on, come on, put your hand up. <laughs> oh, everybody understand what whoever means. That's right. That got me and got William Sue. It got you, William. Me too. You one of them whoever's. That's right. Whosoever. That's, that got you. That's me too. You know it got you, don't you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Whosoever. That's me also. And he, said, and he said unto them, whosoever, whosoever shall put away his wife, put away his wife and, marry another, and marry another, committeth adultery against her. Yes. And if a woman, if a woman shall put away her husband uh -huh. and be married to another, she hath committed adultery. Amen. That's plain. You better read that again. St. Mark chapter 10. Just in case 10. anyone got distracted when he was giving me the water. St. <laughs> Mark chapter 10, verses 11. Read it again and quickly. 12. And he saith unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife. All right, viewers. Amen. You fall under the whosoever. Whosoever. Well, they did it back in Moses' day. Mm -hmm. Moses let you do it because of the hardness of your heart. That's but right. But Jesus here, from the beginning, it wasn't so. It wasn't so. But you can't jump on Moses. That's right. One greater than Moses was here, that's and right. that's Jesus himself. Amen. Real quick. And he saith unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another committeth adultery against her. Yes. And if a woman shall put away her husband. If a woman get rid of her husband. And be married to another, she committeth adultery. All right. That goes for everybody in here. That's right. This is what you got to do now to get right with God. This is what you got to do. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. You might as well get ready to obey everything I'm preaching and come out of your churches. Get on God's side. Follow this message so you can escape the burning flames of hell. That's right. See, you fanning now so you can get some relief. Yeah. But ain't no relief in the lake of fire. Oh, no. Listen. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. All of it. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. All right. All right, Mississippi. Are you ready? Amen. You that bow your head and raise your hands, you ain't baptized. You're not saved. You ain't born again. No. Bible ain't say join the church. You're not saved. You're still a sinner. That's right. Well, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart you are saved. You are not. You are not. It said you shall be shall saved. It didn't say you are. That means you got some more to do. That's right. Any of you that was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're baptized wrong. You ain't never been baptized. You just got wet. 
That's right. You have to do it like the apostle preached it. Captain verse says what? Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. What is it? Then Peter said unto them, repent. When you repent, you're sorry for your sins. Mm -hmm. you're sorry for doing your wrong. Yeah. You feel that conviction in here. That's right. You got to repent. And be baptized, every one of you. How much in Mississippi? Every one of you. I'm after the entire state, not just the city of Jackson. I'm after the entire state. That's right. Amen. Want me to follow along, I'll be going to Hattiesburg. Mm -hmm. I want to get in there. Amen. And knock that city over. Amen. I'm not just stopping in Jackson. I want to go in Hattiesburg. I want because the telecast we got is covering practically the entire state of Mississippi. Wonderful. And everywhere it's covering. Thank God I want to go there and smash everything that's not like God and open up a Holy Ghost station there. That's right. Smash it, crush it, knock it over, burn it down with Bible. Amen. Huh? Amen. What is that? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. Who? Every one of Everyone you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, what? For the remission of sins. Get your sins washed away. You got to do this. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Why? How do we know it? For the promise is unto you. Promises to you. And to your children. Oh, and to your children and to all. That are afar off. And what? Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. The Bible says the Lord has spoken, have called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Anybody want to get right, get right. Mm. Take advantage of this while you're living and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and get right. Stand on your feet this afternoon. Amen. Stand on your feet. Come on. Wonderful. Come on. Where's my baptism team at? Where's my baptism team? Please stop talking back there with my baptism team at. All right, all of you that are standing, go right to the back, please. You see that brother and that sister there? All of you that standing, go right to the back. I told you victory has to be the truth of God. It just has to be. Wonderful. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It has to be. Oh, yes. Come out of your churches. Hallelujah. Come out of your churches. Everything got to come out of their churches. Hallelujah. All right, come on back tomorrow. Don't crowd up the back. If you've never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you're not saved. You're still a sinner right now. You got this to obey. It's a commandment. Amen. After you repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, you got to come out of the church you're in. Leave that trash. That's right. Leave it. Don't look at it. Don't even drive by it. <laughs> Stay away from it. That's right. If you drive by it, you may be tempted to go back in there. Amen. Come walk with the truth of the gospel. That's right. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all of them souls. Wonderful. Look at all of them souls. <laughs> Who can say this is not the truth? Amen. Can't change it. Who can say this is not right? Amen. Amen. I was talking to my brother, Elder Randy Butler and Elder McLennan, and they was telling me how they have never seen nothing like this in all their life. I remember Elder McLennan was talking one day here in Jackson last time I was here. He said in 40 years, in his 40 years time, he only saw three people get baptized mm. in the name of Jesus Christ in 40 years. Lord. There's a famine in the land. Oh, yes. Not for bread, nor for water, but for hearing the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. We thank God for this. Hallelujah. We thank God for this. Hallelujah. All right. Come on back tomorrow. Don't you go to your church. Don't go tell me you got to be there with the preacher. Let him be there by himself. What well, I got the keys, send it back to him. <laughs> or right. drive by the church and throw it on the steps. <laughs> tell me something about some keys. Nobody cared nothing about what keys you got. That's I'm right. the preacher's driver. Jump out and let the car go on his own. <laughs> let him fend for himself. <laughs> Wonderful. Are you listening to the old man? Hallelujah. The word of God is snatching every excuse you could come up with. Yeah. Come on back at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. All right, uh, Brother Brandon, you get ready. Get yourself ready. Wait, show the brother where the baptism is. Make sure you all direct the people the right directions. Get them prepared for baptism. I want to thank the brothers that have been coming back and forth from Mississippi, uh, not Mississippi, from Memphis. Helping uh, Elder McLennan, and I thank the brothers and sisters here that have been helping Elder McLennan every, 
every week. Elder Butler, once he get back in health, he also would be one of the elders here in Jackson speaking also, and him and Elder McClendon will be rotating. Thank God for them both. All right, we're going to close out. We're going to ask uh, Elder Butler to close us out with prayer. Be back tomorrow at 11 o'clock and again at 5. Elder Butler. Gracious God, and bless in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord God, again for the gathering of your people. We thank you for the word on this day, Lord God. Thank you for the souls that are about to go down in your name. Father God, we ask, oh God, that you will fill them, oh God, with your precious Holy Ghost. We ask, oh God, that you keep us, oh God, carry us to our various destinations, Lord God, and bless us, oh God, to come back again, Lord God, looking for a word from on high. In the blessed name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen.